My name is Jamie Callison. I'm the executive chef for the School of Hospitality Business Management. And today we're here to talk about mise en place. Mise en place is a very important term um, for culinarians and also for people at home, whether it's cooking or your daily life. Mise en place means everything in its place. And so when we're getting ready to do a recipe, it's important that we have everything cut, everything organized, and also everything put together in the same order that we're gonna cook or prepare that item. Uh, so as, as we uh, move forward, we're not trying to guess, do, did we forget this product? Did we forget to put this in? And it really helps us to stay organized. And so um, today we've, um, we have our ingredients here for our chicken curry, and we've lined everything up as if it's gonna go in the pan. So we're gonna start with a little bit of our coconut milk here and our um, curry. And then we're gonna add in uh, our, a little bit of sugar, our cream, and then our chicken, our carrots go in. And then after those cook for a little while, we put our potatoes and then our zucchini. And it's important that I have everything lined up, like I was saying here, and already cut. Because what happens a lot of times is you go to cook something and then you look down and, and you realize that maybe something's getting a little too brown and you're ready for that next, cook, next um, step in cooking, but your product's not there and you're not ready. So it's very important as you're, as you're moving forward that you have those things lined up and you have everything cut, ready to go. So today, we're gonna go um, talk a little about um, the Thai basil, how to shift on that, and the carrot, and then um, how to cut a carrot. Um, and again, if you can see our product, it's all beautifully laid out here. And I did these in white bowls. Of course, you can do these in any kind of containers that you have. And we really hope that for this ne these next segments, that you actually will cook with us at home and follow along and, and this will be a um, fun adventure for all of us. So we have our peeled, washed and peeled carrot. We do a, a technique that's called oblique. It's basically kind of, um, it's just kind of a rough cut. I use this cut for stews and different things where I don't want just that sliced carrot in there. And what we do is we actually take the knife and we do a cut like this and then we turn it and we do another cut. And then we turn it and we do another cut. And we keep on, so we're basically going, turning like this and going back and forth. And if you notice, um, you know, why I'm doing that cut, I've talked about this in my other demos before, but I'm using the claw. So I'm definitely holding the knife correctly and really keeping, making sure the knife, I'm not gonna slip here. So we just turn. And we're, each time we're cutting, we're turning. And we end up with this really unique cut. And that's a fun cut for in there. Just, you don't have everything just everything flat and everything um, the exact same size. So for our Thai basil, what we're going to do is we're, these leaves, we've already washed these. We're going to take these. And we're going to chiffonade. So basically, you take the leaves like this, set them down flat, and then you roll them. Just like this. Then you hold those really tight. And we want to do this a little closer to the um, the time that it's finished that you're finished cooking your curry, uh, because those leaves will turn brown. So again, for the mise en place, I have everything from my. It sounds very type A, but everything from my coconut milk open to everything measured out. Potatoes really important if you're going to cut your potatoes ahead of time that we actually put these in water. All of these items can be done before you go to work. Um, really, this stuff can all be done before you even, um, before you go to sleep at night, and then you wake up the next morning, go to work, and you come home, and everything's prepared. Um, mise en place really helps, and I, and I do this at home all the time. Get everything cut, ready to go. Potatoes, because they'll oxidize, very important to put the potatoes in some cold water, and you can put these in water overnight, and you'll lose a little bit of the starch content, but still, it'll make your day a lot easier and your um, cooking um, process, uh, process go a lot easier for you. And I always believe in cooking should be fun. I've been cooking professionally for 35 years. I still love it and I think I still love it because I organize it in a way that I make it fun.